Utility company planning to turn off the power in a second wave in an effort to head off wildfires. Up to two million customers are without electricity waking up this morning. Is this the way to do it? William Lajeunesse has the story now from Malibu. William, hello. Hey, Bill, yeah, two million people could be waking up today and tomorrow without power. And now L.A. and Ventura counties are under a red flag fire alert as well. Um, and they, of course, the utilities are trying to prevent what you see here, a repeat of last year, Malibu losing 1,000 homes, many more up north. So if you take a look at the map, we're out 800,000 customers affected so far as Pacific Gas and Electric cut power proactively to prevent electrical lines from arcing or falling to the ground and causing a fire. Power is going to be restored today to some, but others will lose power as that weather system moves south. Utilities say this is a necessary trade-off to protect the public, but many are angry and skeptical and blame the utilities for failing to invest in new equipment, vegetation management, and now they are paying the price. If they had taken care of this in the last 50 years, we wouldn't be having this now. They could have waited to see what the weather was like before they shut off power. We are completely sold out of generators, small and large. Someone threw eggs inside a PG&E office and someone fired a gunshot at an employee. No injuries. PG&E faces $30 billion in liability claims from last year's fires. Now, utilities say because of climate change, overgrown transmission corridors, and of course this high wind forecast gusts up to 50 miles an hour, is forcing their hand. If there is any sparks that are derived from our lines, it's, it, we run the risk of starting a fire. When we look at the climate and the environment in which our electrical assets live, operate, breathe in, it's very dynamic. And that environment has changed drastically over the last several years. So power could be out for several days as they have to inspect the lines before re-energizing them, Bill. This, they say, is the new normal in peak fire season. Uh, that's, that's one way of doing it. We'll see how it goes. William, thank you. Nice to see you in Malibu today.